Nine University of Wisconsin Madison law students are preparing for a trip to Dilly, Texas, home to one of the nation's largest immigration detention centers. For a week next month, they'll stay there to represent immigrants being held in a family detention center who need help applying for relief or asylum. Our Amanda Quintana is in the newsroom with more on the need in Texas and right here at home. Amanda? Yes, well, the Latino and Latina Law Student Association and the Immigrant Justice Center at UW-Madison organized this trip together. It's a way to expand the pro bono services that they are already offering immigrants here in Dane County. Many of those students eager to help one of our most vulnerable communities, immigrant children, and at the same time learn to be the best attorneys they can be. For UW law students eager to get out and make a change in the world, they're already doing it through the Immigrant Justice Clinic. Even though we're far from the border, our southern border, we have seen an increased number of people contacting us for assistance in representation and removal proceedings. Immigrants, including unaccompanied children, are not given a government attorney to represent them at deportation hearings. And there aren't enough pro bono resources in Dane County. That's where these students step in. Everyone, in our opinions, is entitled to due process, and a lot of people aren't receiving that because they're not from here, and that seems uh, very strange to us. With the change in administration and attitude toward immigrants, more students are turning to immigration law as a way to help. Next month, extending their reach, driving to Dilly, Texas, to help those in a family detention center prepare to see a judge. For me, it was important to be able to offer that access to justice as I in that in the way that we were able to by helping women and children prepare for their asylum their credible fear interviews in order to continue with the asylum process. Second year law student Angela O'Brien has worked with those in detention centers close to the border before. It looks like a school, but there's chain link fences everywhere and the children are wearing like what you would normally wear in like a prison for jump shoes, jumpsuits. That was a very jarring experience for me. She says although many are protesting, shocked to hear about toddlers facing a judge alone, it's nothing new. And it's not just at the border, it's happening right here in Wisconsin. My three-year-old, she can say her name, but beyond that, how could you respond to something? Do you have a fear of returning to your home country? A three-year-old cannot respond to that in a way that would protect them from a deportation. Statistics show you are five times more likely to be successful in a deportation hearing when you have an attorney representing you. The Immigrant Justice Center hopes that in Dane County, they can make it so every immigrant has representation if they want it, and that our area can serve as an example to the rest of the country. Amanda Quintana in the newsroom. Amanda, thank you.